guys so I thought I would do this video so this is gonna be five DS games and it's specific to DS it's not including any 3DS games that I think are perhaps underrated or highly unknown about and are actually really good a couple of these you can pick up really really cheap as well so if you're looking for like, little stocking fillers that's awesome but also if you're just looking for another game to play <coughs> I highly recommend any of these ones my five aren't going to be in any specific order these are just five games that just because of the amount of DS games that I buy I've played and really thoroughly enjoy so some of them unfortunately are a little bit more expensive but I'll point those ones out to you so first of all we're going to start with this one so this is Ninja Town this is obviously a 7 plus but it's really really simple so this is a strategy based game you have to organize your ninjas in the little different houses so some of them will um, shoot bows and arrows, some of them will shoot ice, some of them will throw stars, like the throwing stars <coughs> and they have different speeds and stuff like that and you can level them up and waves of the monsters which are these come through and you have to strategically place your ninjas so they don't obviously so the monsters don't get through to the other end this game is actually really really cheap and is normally less than a tenner um, most of the time actually it's about four, three, four quid in the UK anyway and this is highly recommended I absolutely adore this and I'll show you some gameplay in two secs Hi guys, so if I film this way you can see the whole screen which is a lot easier so we will go on story player mode I have completed this previously this is like another run through so you can see I've done town one, town two it's just monsters moving to town three so I'll just, I'm going to go over here, and you've normally got like a short little dialogue at the beginning of all of them, All these different ninjas have different powers so what you have to do is it shows you the waves here and they're gonna come from this oh, one sec they're gonna come from up here so I'm gonna quickly build a ninja there I'm gonna build one there I'm going to build one there because I don't really want them getting past this point and I've run out of points so I can't build any more you can go back and you see they fight them which is kind of cute um, here means they are be obviously these now I've upgraded to level 2 but it shows you what level they're at so we're just going to quickly up level up a couple of them you can, points are oh, sorry I kicked the camera then <laughs> I'm not really jig that I'll do that so points are up here so I've got five points left so you get different types of monsters as well and it's really fun you get graded also like this stick when it levels up you can use that and blow in the mic which means it um they go backwards like the monsters so yeah this game's really cute and i would definitely recommend it it's got some cute music as well and definitely if you're just looking for an easy kind of strategy game this is definitely one of them so that one's definitely a really good one if you guys just want to pick up something that's really cheap and I said for like a strategy game I really think it's really awesome I said at the moment normally this game is under a fiver second hand so yeah definitely a recommendation the next one I've got is a little bit harder to find this is the only way that I could unfortunately get it at the moment so this one is this 
and I'm really bad at pronouncing this. So this is Boing, I think it's Doko, Doko Mono Dake, I can't pronounce that properly, but it's for the DS, it's really cute. You are this little mushroom fellow, and you have to save your mushroom friends and family. You do this by, it's kind of like a Mario style platformer, but then you have to work your way around kind of thing. So you kind of end up having to, like you can split down into smaller mushrooms and get back big again. So sometimes you might, to go on a platform, you might need to be heavy, so you work back up again and then you're too heavy enough to go down. Other times you need to reach tall, so you can grab, you can go really small and then grab yourselves and go in a little tower so you reach, which is awesome. Um, this game is re quite hard to find. If you find it in like a CEX in the UK, it's really cheap. But if you can find it, um, that's the hardest part. Um, I think I paid about 15 quid for it like this. So yeah, it's quite hard to find. eBay probably will have them, but if they're complete in box, they're normally worth a little bit of money. So, but this one is highly recommended and I'll show you a bit of gameplay of it. It's super cute. I love the mushrooms. They're so adorable. Um, yeah, and I said, if you can find it in a CEX in, um, in the UK, it is actually really ch cheap. It's like, I think I saw it for about three quid. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the bottom. But, yeah, so I'll show you some gameplay. Two secs. So, this is your type screen. You can see this is one of my save files. So, at the moment, I think I've managed to save one of his little friends. So, I'm not sure what level I'm on. So, we'll go here. We'll go four, shall we? Oh. Excuse me. So, as you can see, he walks over here and you can tap him and he turns little. So, these you can stack up, but that little beastie thing will take them away. You can also put them in here so that you can um, walk across here. So you can <laughs> make him bigger again, basically, as well. And he can walk along, collect these awesome coins. I think the dragonfly only gets little ones. Every time you get hit, as I said, you do, you can lose one. Which kind of, it's annoying. But you can, as long as you get him in time, you can kind of put him back. The controls can be a bit finicky, but they're not terrible, to be honest. But if, this is kind of more of a puzzle-based game, and if you do enjoy puzzle games, then I would highly recommend it. You can get him smaller like this, and then you can crawl up them and crawl down them and use them as a ladder, which is really cute. Obviously, the more of these you get back, the higher score you get at the end of the level as well.
But it's really cute. Like, seriously, I'm controlling this with one hand. So, yeah, you can see how easy it is to um, control. And it's really cute and really sweet. I really enjoy this game. But yeah, I would highly recommend this game, um, especially if you're looking for something little to play. It can be more expensive, but the further you get on, the more the puzzles become harder. And yeah, it's a lot more enjoyable. So yeah, if you want to find something that's a little bit more expensive and a bit more niche, but really high, highly recommended. So it's very puzzly, and the further you get on with it, the more the puzzles become harder and actually you have to think about them at the beginning it is really easy and it does um, like wean you in a little bit but yeah definitely a high recommendation the next one that I'm not sure if a lot of people know about which I really really love this isn't an American box this one actually but you can get it for POW and America so this is Bomberman Land Touch so I actually love this game so I really really love Bomberman I have it on pretty much most platforms including the new Switch one um, it's really good so this is a proper story mode game and you actually run through a proper story it's almost a, reminds me a little bit of Mario RPG and also it's got as well built in um, the normal kind of battle pack which is for up to 8 players so that is awesome as well as I said you, I'm pretty sure you can be any kind of one of the Bomberman but yeah it's awesome um, the story is actually not terrible as well I said this one is for an American copy but you can pick them up in PAL version if you prefer so I'll show you the gameplay of this Ooh, I'll throw it on the floor also I was gonna say as well this isn't that expensive this is about no more than £10. Normally it's about £7 or £8 second hand. And if you can find it, this will keep you entertained for hours. So many hours, I promise you. But I'll show you some gameplay so you can tell for yourself. You right guys, so I'm turning the music down on this one because I'm pretty sure that the Bomberman music is probably patented. Um, so we'll go into this. You said you can go into story mode. Or you can go to the battle pack, which is just fighting, which is awesome. I feel like that kind of reminds me a bit of that weird Sonic game. Or like where they kind of try to make it like Mario. Or even, I said Mario RPG. You can walk around. All done by touchscreen. You can talk to people. Said. You've got other Bomberman to talk to as well. So this is cute pink Bomberman. There are lots of different areas. So this is one of the areas I just kind of completed in this one. So when you get points, you can you get certain skills and stuff, and then you also get like hearts. And every time you get a heart, you can choose to unlock a gate, and then you can go further on. If you talk to her, see what she says. She's like a mermaid bomber man. Also, there's different areas, so they're done in suits, like card suits. So that was the spade kind of area. You kind of get the map up here, which you can look at. It's kind of like a park as well. So you get these weird people like trying to sell you balloons <laughs> in weird like shark costumes. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a park attraction and you have to go through and do loads of bits and bobs and it's really cute. And I love it so much. It's a proper kind of like RPG game. And if you really. Like. You've just got nothing to play at the moment. This isn't a ridiculously expensive. And it's 
very easy to pick up and put down again and then pick up later on. It has got a good story to it. And stuff like that. I would, yeah, I would just really, really recommend this one. It's really cute. And so someone that's grown up on Bomberman as well. Yeah, it is a very big change to what you'd consider Bomberman. Like just the trying to blow each other to shreds. But yeah, it, it's such a refreshing kind of one. So apparently I have to spin him. We'll see how this card goes. So I think I did quite well. <laughs> no, I did poopy on that one. <laughs> There's like these mini games as well, which are, oh, foul again, <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, there are these mini games which are cool. I got the goal anyway, so that's fine. I cleared it because I did it once. <laughs> but see, you get coins from doing stuff. They're just silly little things, but then they mean you can buy things and do other bits. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. Obviously, I know I can only show you a small part of this, this one, which kind of sucks. But yeah. The other thing I would say as well is bear in mind when buying um, other regions, when it's like this one I knew would work on one of my DS's, one I've got so many different ones, but also um, the original DS's, so DS, DS Lite, DSi, the 3DS and the 3DS XL, um, I believe are region free, but the new ones, so the new 3DS XL and the 3DS, the new 3DS and the 2DS is I believe a region locked so just be careful with that in the sense of I bought this game and this game works on my DS but then I bought another game um, and it does it's 3D it's a 3DS game and it doesn't actually work on my console because they region locked the games after that so only DS games I believe are region free kind of sucks because it does also mean that I'm going to have to go and buy like either a Japanese or American kind of console to play certain games but it's one of those things. So the next one on my list is probably the one that I think most people are going to know so that is this one. So this is Rune Factory and this one is actually called A Fantasy Harvest Moon and that is exactly what it is. Um, so if you've ever played Harvest Moon um, or you've ever played um, oh, I can't even think of the name of it now, Star Valley and stuff like that, this is the game for you. So this game throws all in the harvesting side, the crops, the getting bigger houses, the meeting somebody and kind of marrying someone in this, but also throws in the dungeon crawling and the fighting monsters and you can actually train and capture monsters in this one and bring them back and keep them as your livestock as well which is awesome um i don't know how much i've actually played of this one because when i was a kid i played this one a lot then was really silly sold it and now i'm just trying to i'm missing one i think i've got one one three and four and i need two. Oh no i've got one two and four and i need three big pardon but yeah so there is a few in the series of these, so you can get um, on the DS, Room Factory, uh, this one, and two and three, and then Room Factory four. If you're not in America, you can only purchase it as a download, otherwise the game is American, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But yeah, I would really recommend this one. Um, it's super cute. I said I love Harvest Moon, I have every Harvest Moon game, and this one just caught my eye when I was younger because it called itself a fantasy harvest moon so I thought I'd give it a go and I really recommend this I'll show you some gameplay two seconds so this one again is 
isn't necessarily um, what I'd consider rare, but I'm not necessarily going to put the music on really loud because I just think it's going to be patented to Nintendo and you know what they're like. So you can go over to here and you can collect stuff. I passed out by the looks of it. Oh, maybe that was poisonous. <laughs> Some of them are poisonous and it has been, oh okay, restarted and everything. Been quite a while since I played this one. So we'll go on my other playthrough then. I'll go on this playthrough. So this is your home and you are this character. The graphics aren't brilliant, but they aren't terrible to be honest. And they've held up quite well considering they are for a DS, not a 3DS. You can obviously use the stylus for some things, but mostly this is handheld properly. So you come out here and this is like what I consider your farm. You can see I've got crops here and, oops, trying to work out what button to press. So obviously you've got crops here. This very Harvest Moon-esque, you can, break the rocks, pick up and clean the weeds. Here we go up here. This is where later on, if you choose to have animals or monsters, they will put in kind of like the sheds and stuff. Like instead of like a cow shed, it's like a monster shed, but still. We've got a proper town to go into, kind of, you can walk to, which is like along here. And it's very Harvest Moon, kind of, um, Final Fantasy, bear in mind, beg pardon, esque. And you can go and talk to whoever you want. So I said, and they're very anime style, and I just really, really... Like enjoy it, you said you can, you know, do that kind of thing. You can go into the dungeons like where you saw earlier where I died straight away uh, on that leveled one. They're the dungeons and you can go into those and level up and everything and it's really cute. Oh gosh, excuse me. I'm yawning a lot now. But your map's up here, you can see I'm up here at the moment. Um, and obviously that's my farm, but you can go along. The mountains are over here and the caves are over here as well. Um, this is your town. They do have some random characters in this. So this is like a witchy kind of character. She's kind of cool though. And you can actually, because in this you're a male, you can choose to marry whatever female you like. Uh, Obviously, in the Harvest Moon games, later on, they did decide to do, obviously, you can be a female or a male, which is much better, to be fair. But, yeah, I would really recommend this game. It's super cute. I know I can't show you tons of gameplay, but it's definitely worth it. So, this one is, unfortunately, the most priciest off this list. Oh, hiccup, sorry. And um, This one and other ones in the series can range up to £25. That is second hand. If you're definitely looking for a cute kind of like Harvest Moon-esque kind of game, I really recommend it. You can actually really put so many hours into this. And there is a new one if you prefer looking at new graphics, which is Rune Factory 4. I said though, if you aren't in America, then you can only use like a downloaded one. But I would really recommend this. So this is like one of my favourite ones, to be honest with you. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. I would yawn. Oh, excuse me. I think I need an early night. It's been a long week. But yeah, really recommend this one. So the final one we have, again, I don't think a lot of people will know about it. Plus, I don't think a lot of people kind of would even take a second glance at it. So this one is called Action Puzzle Game Zookeeper. So this is incredibly cheap. This is, again, no more than £5 normally, and it's normally about 3 quid. Um how to explain it so you are pretty much playing something like candy crush 
the best way to explain it but you're playing with animals faces instead and you are a zookeeper and the aim is to kind of get a full zoo um you get time attacks and quests and stuff like that which is awesome but also sometimes it's fun just to sit down with one of these games it's a kind of it reminds me a little bit of pokemon pinball because you pick up the animals as you go along um but yeah it's super super cute it's completely made it's made by nintendo licensed by nintendo and i can't even see it's made by nick nike nike entertainment i can't pronounce that properly but that one and i haven't seen many games by them but yeah it's super cute and i said sometimes you want to pick up a game you want it to be super easy you don't want to put a lot of effort in and this is super fun as well you get really addicted to doing it there is kind of i guess a little bit of a story it's not the brilliant story that you're looking for in certain games but yeah it's definitely good for passing the time or if you've got young kids so i'll show you some gameplay of this one so first off the bat i am going to turn the music down on this one mainly because it's annoying so we're going to turn it down um but we're going to play the game So you generally just move these about I said it's really candy crush kind of esque and obviously you get more points are uh, pending on how big a streaks I guess you kind of do. But yeah, I absolutely adore this game. Sometimes it's just nice to sit said with like a dead easy game why can't I see one why am I being so dumb I actually honestly can't see one. Oh, there we go <laughs> see, I wasn't being silly then there wasn't a lot of moves <laughs> said so they're all kind of randomized and it's just Sometimes it's just more fun to sit with a game that I don't have to rack my brain over. It's just like, oh, little moves like this and that. Oh, come on, I can't see. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So you kind of have to get this many of these, which is fine. Um, come on. <laughs> so then you get, so I guess it's like Candy Crush, you just get suddenly a load of moves that you can do. So I only really need to do Zimonke now. I can't actually see any moves for him. Hey. So it kind of goes like I said, you get different screens and you have to work your way up. Sometimes it's dead easy and sometimes you have to actually look. But I said it really is Candy Crush. I guess before Candy Crush was around so much. But yeah, this game is really cheap, but it's also just fun to kind of kick back with. This is pretty much the main part of the gameplay. There is nothing much more than this, but if you're totally happy with just chilling like this, then yeah i would really recommend this game especially as it's so easy to kind of get caught up in but yeah so yeah this one is really really cheap i said if you're looking for something that's kind of candy crush-esque then yeah it's really good and there's no like microtransactions so always good for kids because then you haven't got to worry about it because they're not going to buy a ton of crap 
when you turn your back and you don't have to give me your phone so yeah it's awesome but yeah they're five games that i would really highly recommend they're, they do range in price, some being really cheap and some being a little bit more pricey but they're all games that I think don't get enough hype on the DS and all games that I think are really awesome especially if you're just looking for a certain type of gameplay but let me know what you think in the comments down below is there any DS games that you really really enjoy and you think are really underrated and just aren't spoken about enough um, leave the comments in down below and I will talk to you about them that's awesome um, and also it might be that I find some new games or we all find some new games that we really really enjoy but thanks for watching so so much and don't forget to hit that like button it helps so much also so think about subscribing for more videos like this one I am better now so I am gonna be putting a lot more videos up which is good I'll be doing my recommendation video tomorrow as well um but thanks very much for watching guys and i will see you tomorrow so bye